probably another big clue yet that we're going to see something happen to Joe Biden before the Democratic National Conventions had to do with my research from last night because I have been keeping track throughout history uh, which party was in power in the White House and which party predominantly had control of the House of Representatives. And as you've seen ever since 1995-1997, Republicans had more of a share of the U.S. Congress and so we're more in trouble nowadays because obviously there's a disturbing trend of Congress being more in control of the Republicans versus in past years, Congress historically was almost always fully democratic. And that was the greatest period of social mobilization in American society. And what this Democratic Party is, they can not only achieve this for white people, uh, which was the case from the 30s throughout the uh, late 1970s, but they can have a true uh, New Deal number two era for all races, for all people in a multi-ethnic society, the United States of America. But here's another big clue that we're going to be seeing Elizabeth Warren in this election three years, a uh, hundred years from 1920. As you know, I've made the connection already that the first female president is going to be elected a hundred years after women gain the right to vote through the 19th Amendment. It all has to do with the elections beginning in the year 19. Uh, really interesting enough, the 1920 election featured James Cox against a man whose first name was Warren. And, 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 and that cannot be a coincidence at all, my friend. Because it's war and that's going to get elected 100 years later from 1920. Women's suffrage was passed around this time. And Joe Biden already as it stands at 77 years of age is in jeopardy of not being able to be the president if he were to pass away at any time right now. I'd say there's less of a chance that there's going to be a coup at the DNC. But you never know if the wife has to say anything. Like, why is the wife always with Joe Biden during his interviews? It's like something must be going on with Joe Biden. Why is the wife always with him? Was that the case for Hillary and Bill Clinton? Could Bill have helped Hillary campaign since people liked Bill far more than Hillary? Just pretty interesting that the 1920 election featured Warren Harding. To me, that means something big is going to happen here a hundred years later. I forgot the commenter who made that observation, but I pretty much discovered this when I was working through my Google Doc. It was Warren Harding, uh, one of the most corrupt presidents ever. He had a lot of scandals happen during his presidency. And then I'll be showing you the Social Security, the Fair Labor Standards Act, urban, you know, federal backed housing and all this, the New Deal, Medicare, Social Security, all this happening with Democrats throughout the history of this country. We need a new New Deal era. It's pretty clear. It's pretty clear that all of, all of this stops after Buckley versus Vallejo when Reagan went to office and then when, when Reagan took the set to, to took the Senate in, in 1981 it, it, it pretty much showed that Republican governance was going to complete the bastardization of American society towards an oligarchic society helped out by a center right corporatist Bill Clinton so this is the right angle of American history look out for Elizabeth uh, what can you say about the 1920 election that's the 34th quadrennial election in my Jamacha calculator, I've said this thousands of times, but it's Warren that equals 34, it's Democrat that equals 34, and it's November the 3rd of the year 20, this year's election that adds up to 34. So something is going to happen here. Let me see if anything else happened to these two men. Warren Harding was really old, and, and, and now, if, if we want to sell on Biden being president, if angle number two is going to happen, it would mean that Warren got replaced in 1923, two years later. So under this connection, Joe Biden's presidency doesn't last for two years, and it's Elizabeth that replaces him. That were to be if Joe Biden doesn't die right away. 
Joe Biden could easily be dead at 79 years of age because of the fact that it's Warren that has to match you of 79. But look out for this Warren Harding connection because it, it means that, you know, if, if he doesn't die during the election, then the vice president's going to be take over. And under that time, it would be Elizabeth Warren. So big connection there with uh, Warren Harding and, and what this will mean for this particular election. You know, the interesting thing about Warren Harding is that the 66th Congress occurred right before uh, the election. That was uh, when the uh, women gained the right to vote during the 66th U.S. Congress because it's uh, it's woman that has to march in 66. Not, not, not women. Women has to march in of, 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 of 70. So definitely, this is going really well for my Elizabeth Warren pick. I'm on the right track. So it doesn't matter if Joe Biden's running this, this November. He's going to be replaced two years from now. If this were to be the big clue about what's going to happen here. But I'm still going with the surprise death before the election. If not before the election, most definitely Biden's going to be dead two years from now. And, and then that's when the 47th president would come into play. And that's where you get uh, Lisa Simpson having gematria of, of 77. So, But we inherited quite a big budget crunch by President Trump. So this happened sooner rather than later. 